Hi, this is Dr. Samya Vijapure, Cosmetic Dentist at Care Dental, Kormangala, Bangalore. Bleaching is a simple process. In bleaching, the stains are removed which makes your teeth look much brighter. There are basically two types of stains, that is the extrinsic stains and the intrinsic stains. Extrinsic stains are the one which is caused due to the smoking, tobacco chewing, or pan chewing, or drinking colored aerated drinks like colas, coffee, all. Intrinsic stains are caused due to the increased level of fluorides, any defects in the formation of the tooth, that is the formation of enamel and dentine, and aging also causes staining of the tooth by decreasing the enamel levels and thinning it so that the inner dentine is more yellowish. So it gives out as a yellowish hue to the teeth. Some of the factors to be considered before a bleaching is if the patient is already sensitive to the bleaching agent or any history of sensitivity or if there are any decays or damage to tooth, these have to be filled and pregnancy and lactation, it is not advised to get a bleaching done and children up below the age of 16 are usually not advisable for the bleaching treatment. Whitening products contain bleach which break down the stains into smaller pieces and hence the color of the stain is less intense after a bleaching. Whitening is unlikely to cause serious side effects. Few things which can be expected after a whitening or a bleaching is done is sensitivity for a short period of time, that is one or two weeks, which can be taken care by prescribing a desensitizing toothpaste and there might be some gum irritation which few of them feel. Low concentrations of peroxide from a reputed source is considered to be safe for a bleaching product. And if you are sensitive to any of the bleaching products, it is advisable not to go ahead with the bleaching. If the patient is sensitive, normally before a bleaching, two weeks of desensitizing toothpaste should be used prior to the bleaching procedure. Whitening is not a permanent solution. It may rebound back after one or two years. The best maintenance tips which can be given after a bleaching are avoid smoking, avoid drinking colas, coffee, red wine. A habit of drinking the beverages with the straw helps to retain the bleaching effect for a longer time as the amount of the substance which comes into contact with your teeth is much lesser. So what I can conclude is bleaching is not harmful for the enamel but care should be taken prior and after the bleaching process so that it is least harmful and is done without damaging the surrounding tissues. So it has to be done with a certified person for the best results and the least harm.